the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs is monitoring alerts from the Pan-American Health Organization regarding the increased incidence in dengue and chikungunya cases in the region of the Americas. The number of dengue cases doubled in 2022 compared to that reported in 2021. The same increasing trends were noted with chikungunya. Although the majority of these cases have been reported in the South American countries, the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is the vector responsible for the transmission of these diseases, is present in St. Lucia. Dengue cases continue to be recorded in St. Lucia throughout the year, usually peaking between the months of June and November. Since the introduction of chikungunya virus in 2014, random cases have been recorded, ranging between zero and two annually. There have been no recorded cases of Zika virus disease since the 2016 outbreak. Although there has not been a recorded increase in cases of dengue and chikungunya, the Ministry of Health wishes to reassure the public that the prevention and control measures have been augmented. Both dengue and chikungunya are viral illnesses spread by the bite of the Aedes aegypti mosquito and, to a lesser extent, the Aedes albopictus. Both are endemic to St. Lucia, meaning that there is continued local transmission which often peaks during and after rainy seasons. The current weather conditions are favorable to mosquito breeding and this means that cases are likely to increase even outside of the rainy season. The mosquito lives in urban surroundings and breeds mostly in man-made containers. It is a daytime feeder with peak biting periods in the early morning and in the evening before sunset. Signs and symptoms include fever, headache, muscle, and joint pain, with the latter being more frequent in chikungunya. There is no specific treatment for dengue and chikungunya, and management is supportive based on clinical presentation. Testing for both diseases is available in St. Lucia, and the Ministry of Health urges persons who may be experiencing signs and symptoms to seek care at the nearest wellness center. Because the mosquito requires water to breed, the public is asked to assist in the control of the vector by eliminating breeding sites in and around their homes. The vector is capable of breeding in the smallest of receptacles, so frequent checks around the home is essential to combat the spread. Avoid the indiscriminate dumping of garbage, which also serves as a breeding ground for the mosquito. Please continue to adhere to the scheduled garbage collection days and times. If you have been diagnosed with dengue or chikungunya, please sleep under a mosquito net to avoid being bitten by the mosquito. The use of insect repellent is also recommended to control the spread of these viruses. Together, we can break the transmission cycle. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue to provide the public with updates on the status of dengue and chikungunya disease in St. Lucia.